want And I set the pace when I'm Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today I will be showing you guys how I make my ekuru. If you don't know what ekuru is, ekuru is white moi moi. Though it's not like moi moi, but we can still call it white moi moi. So in my own language, we call it ekuru. So over the weekend, I was craving ekuru. Then I thought to myself, why not make some ekuru since I have palm oil at home. So guys, I peel my beans and I set it aside. So after setting it aside, I discovered that I didn't have an onion and tomatoes at home. So I had to go downstairs to get some because I'll be using onion and tomato for my sauce. So while getting the tomatoes and onion, I had to get some potatoes because I have a picky eater who won't, he won't eat um, the kuru I'll be making so I had to get him potatoes so I boiled him some potato and that's it so I went ahead to blend my beans I blend it till it's very very smooth so after blending I had to so after blending I have to mix it like I mix it till, till it's very very smooth because if we don't mix it very well the kuru will turn out to be sticky and we don't want it to be sticky so guys if i had a mixer a mixer could have done the work for me like i would just use the mixer to mix it but i don't have any mixer so i have to use my hand i, I mix this for like an hour yes guys i mix it very very well so after mixing it i went ahead to portion them in a small small nylon bag then i started cooking no no salt is added nothing nothing just the beans so after portioning it, I went ahead to prepare my the pepper for my sauce. So I went ahead to blend the pepper. I wash my tomatoes. I'll be using atagbibe. So I have soaked the atagbibe since morning. So I went ahead to blend the atagbibe, my onion, and my tomatoes together. So that's what we'll be using to make the sauce. <laughs> Every day, let it die. Not so guys, part of the ingredient I'll be using is Iru, locust beans and pomo. So I got this pomo at Ashiru Market because I wanted them to send me some from Nigeria. But my mom told me there was no space to add the pomo because the my food stuffs are more than the kilo or is more than the kilo. So she had to drop the pomo. So I was so pain, but... I don't have choice so and i've been craving for more then i went to ashiro market i was able to get one though it's very expensive but i just got one so when i want to make the ekuru and i and i and i thought to myself why not use the pomo to make the ekuru sauce though i didn't really enjoy the pomo but because it's too hard like it's very very hard i don't know maybe i was the one that didn't that didn't soak the pomo very well or Maybe the pomo is just so stubborn, like Wesha. So I proceeded to put some palm oil inside my pan. I added the pepper, I added onion first, then I added the pepper, I added the yuru crayfish, then I added seasoning, salt, then I allow it to cook. After cooking, I added the pomo, then that is it. I, I allow it to cook. Guys, this ekuru tastes so so good like my this thing is not doing justice i wish i could serve it around it tastes so so good like it tastes like there was one time in nigeria i do buy ekuru from one woman like this ekuru tastes like that woman's ekuru it tastes so so good so if a uh, ekuru lovers or you are yes if you are ekuru lovers and you want to make ekuru please just follow this step and i bet you it will come out really really good so that is my ikura i added i sprinkled some salt on it then i added my pepper and it's good to go i would have used this ikuru to eat a core i would have used a core that is um i give this some people call it agidi so i would have used it to eat the ikuru but i couldn't lay my hands on 
a call here in Egypt so I had to eat it like that I had it and it tastes so so good thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification please guys turn on the post notification give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one bye